So let's talk about himself. Known as himself. This guardian of both the hunter and the hunted. He finds no conflict in that because he understands the many necessary balances of nature. The living bond between all alike Himself is the breath that moves, the atom that dances, and his magic is in pure being, loving. The journeyman and the master maker have the magic of doing, of the creation of things. The bright mother has the magic of manifesting and nurturing, but himself, he has the magic of protection, of dancing the spark of life into being. His presence brings magic and life into the world where it is shaped and given form by Earth Mother. He dances as the Bright Mother gives us birth, powering us into the world. He is the Great Father. At the other end of our lives, He is the one who dances the great dance of life and death, and it is Himself who, when the piper plays his lonely call on the wave-swept shore at year's end, dances open the gates between the worlds so that the dead may pass beyond. It is also he who is willing to sacrifice himself when this is necessary for the sake of whom he protects. In between those two extremes, his wild yang energy is channeled through humans to benefit tribe and family. His family is all of us, human and animal. Shamans draw upon his power and the best healers channel a balance between his power and the Bright Mother's nurturing energy. Even as our hearts beat within us, we learn to meditate the life force through joyful being and action, expressing this power through healing and love and trust, we become more like himself. When himself appears in a reading, like he is right now, he not only indicates that a great amount of energy is present in this reading, but he also strongly energizes everything around him. Everything he touches becomes more of whatever it is, more alive, more vigorous, more powerful, more awesome, or more awful. This card in a reading can indicate great vitality, victory, or triumph, confidence, and power. There is leadership, an ability to command steadfastness and integrity, wild power held and channeled for the good of all. Himself speaks a protection, either of the quarant or of someone the quarant owes protection to, like a child, a female, 
or an elder. Acceptance of paternal responsibility is important. As are deep and committed relationships, he is the preserver of the natural world and its balances. Shamanic power may be indicated here, as well as the potential for powerful spiritual healing. This card may also speak of erotic energy, passion, and potent creativity. But in reverse, when the energy of himself is being blocked, we feel limp, enraged, aggravated, drained. There may also be depression, either physical or emotional. Energy may be locked into obsessions or may swing from blocked to out of control. Twisted, the life force, strength, and or authority may be being misused or arrogant aggressiveness or violence towards others. When this card is in the reverse, careful and prayerful considerations need to be given to how the energy can be rechanneled into its natural, creative, and protective mode. At worst, this potent energy becomes a force for war oppression, and domination. The very worst is when brutality or twisted sexuality is turned on the very persons this energy within us should be protecting. As in all of his powers, what has great potential for good can also have great potential for destruction, volcanic release may occur. And this one is for you. 